But basically, we want Zagreus spear to do almost the exact same thing that Zagreus, uh, that Hades spear did. Like the best thing you can hope for, in my opinion, is the is the rocket launcher. We'll take Poseidon again. I think Poseidon on spear with rocket launcher or with uh, not a rocket launcher, but uh, explosive launcher is 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 the best. But yeah, you just you've got extra damage on your special. There are some there are a few good good things that you can get with that. There's a few other good hammers. Um the other the other thing I like to do is to get the uh, the the spear throw that bounces around, but it is a little bit janky and you can be without your weapon for longer than you than you want to be. Whereas explosive launcher is just like it's just like solid. Yes. Go, oh, come on. Give me your special. Oh, come on. Give me your special. Oh, oh, there we go. That's fine. All right. Hopefully we get that sweet, sweet. The sweet, sweet explosive launcher. Hmm, that could be good. Yeah, they're they're cheap. They're very durable. And they don't break easily. And if they do break, nobody cares. I have like a nice glass that I use occasionally. Like it's like a, a, a glass that my cousin made. Sure, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care about any of those right now. I'm just going to use my special a bunch. Okay, friends, here it is. Here's the moment of truth. I really hope I don't have to reset because we're the hammer came late. Here we go. There it is. Explode. Excuse me. Exploding launcher. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's so good. And then we got the Chiron or sorry. Chaos. Not Chiron. Look at this. Watch. Watch this. Suddenly, suddenly this this game feels very different. It's a bit like whack-a-mole <laughs> It feels a bit like whack-a-mole to me. All right Chaos give me some more special damage. Oh, please give me some more special damage. Ho ho Come on now Come on now Come. Well is it worth rolling? Probably not. We'll just go. We'll just go with that. In the middle of Spirit Fair, that's fine. I get it. Hey, I get it. Poseidon. Typhoon's Fury. And we want another way to get crits, but but uh, the higher the percentage on the hunter's mark, the better. And then and then you know. Once we get it. <laughs> like, like my gosh, this is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. I get it from Walking Dead. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, let's see. What's what's our what's our next thing? What's the next play here? 
I just want more Poseidon. Like, I want all of the Poseidon. We're gonna get Adam at Arrowhead and hopefully find, uh, find something, something there. Heading up. I mean, Mirage shot if we will find some kind of a cast. Robert, the runs are great. We got exploding launcher and we're feeling good. We're feeling pretty good. It set the record for like, like sharpest decline. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. It's very sad for all the people in Walking Dead. Whoops. <laughs> it goes so far, too. Okay, come on now. I, I just, all I want, all I wanted was pressure points. That's all I wanted. Fine, deadly strike, fine. When I do Bloodborne, hints. What say we go take care of business here just like we used to, Zag? Got into Game of Thrones. I think people, I think people still wanted to keep watching though, because Game of Thrones, at least, we knew that there was an ending, <laughs> right? I feel like in in The Walking Dead, it's sort of like, I mean, it could have gone on forever. I well, I, I kind of got to that point. I just got like zombie zombie show fatigue, basically. Yes, but not by your hand. Oh, we skunked him. We skunked him. Zero kills for Thanatos. Oh, that's embarrassing for you, sir. That's embarrassing for you. Aphrodite. I mean, we get the bigger crits, right? We get bigger crits. The level scaling in Bloodborne doesn't rely on cutting up giant legs. <laughs> yeah, there's like parrying, right? Like the parrying is important. If you got a, you got a pistol, some kind of a gun. I'm excited, man. I really am. Oh, we are so dominant right now. <laughs> Dominating. The bond of love is strong enough to suffer any hardship, dearest. <laughs> Moonlight greatsword is great in Bloodborne. <laughs> Making our atta attack. I mean, that's fine too. You do that. It's heroic. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Rude of you to need sleep. Exactly. Ooh. Yes. Yes, that's a nice, that is a nice bonus. It's scary, like, like horror game scary or like, like uh, creepy or what is it like? Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I like scary, but it, you know, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Is it gory or is it just scary? Wow, oh, even even our attack is is like super solid, even though this isn't an attack build. Yeah. 
We watched a fun movie the other night for uh, Family Movie Night. On Family Movie Night, we watch... Usually, well, lately we've been watching a lot of the old classics that we watched when we were a kid. Like, a uh, few, few days ago, we watched Harry and the Hendersons. And then, uh, and then last night, we watched Casper. Casper, uh, I don't know if it had a, the tagline, the friendly ghost or not, but it is the friendly ghost. Lovecraftian, ooh. I like Lovecraft, Lovecraft uh, style horror, old ones style horror. Sleep when you're dead, exactly. But also while you're alive. That blasted Hydra never takes my feedback. <laughs> never takes my feedback? That's funny. That's good. Good stuff. Um, do we want to palm things up a little bit? Sure, we'll palm things up for this for this round. Harry and the Hendersons. Exactly, Cody. I mean, it's actually, it's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Like. His the, Harry's face is actually very well done for for that era of movies. Like, it's it's very very good. Like the eyes. I mean, I know that the, it's like a human in a mask or whatever, but like, but the expression and everything was 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 on point. It was really good. Every movie, exactly. It's a product of its time. And you know, we can all say that we should that everyone should have known better, but like. We're going to look back at this time, you know, our, our kids and grandkids and that generation are going to look back at all the things that we did and they'll be like, those guys were idiots. They were complete. They, they were, they should have known better, right? There are situations though where people really should have known better, right? I think we can all agree that that's, that... We can only be. This is this is amazing, by the way. The, the things that are happening in this build. Um, yeah, there there are, there are definitely things that we should have known better, without without question. And then there are things that are like a product of its time, and we can't judge too harshly. I would argue things like slavery. You know, you know, back back in the day when torture was like commonplace. I feel like they should have known better. I feel like they really, really, really should have known better. <laughs> but we don't need to go into that because it's very, that's kind of depressing to talk about. We don't have to talk about that right now. Greatest Reflex or Greater Haste. Greater Haste unlocks the, the Wombo combo, so I think we're going to go for that. Like, there's, there's a difference between, like, you know, the interactions between men and women not being great in terms of consent, not being great in terms of respect, and not treating cultures with, with adequate respect or making fun of cultures. That's not okay, right? Shouldn't have done that. But you look back at other things and it's like, no, 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 no. You really should have known better for that one, right? You really, really should have known better. We'll take Wave of Despair. I don't like any of those other ones. Like, you were just being downright evil, you know? That's just evil. <laughs> this is JP's final thought. And that's all I have to say about it. I should have done this first, but I didn't. A stain upon Elysium? I protest. Ooh, they go, they get together. Oh, it's beautiful when they get together. It's beautiful because they just keep transferring back and forth the uh, the debuff. Oh no, they lost it. Pustule, huh? Who do you think you're calling Pustule?
it's easier to look back when it comes to inaccuracies than fix them while they're happening. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. It's it's cheap. It's cheap and easy to look back at older older generations and say, you you ought to known better. I think I think that that could come back with like. That one of the things that people will look back on this generation, I think, like like Western consumerist culture is like, did you really think it only cost, you know, with if you paid people what they what they ought to be paid? And I know this is a, this comes from a perspective, right? But if you paid people what they deserve to be paid, do you really think that radio that you just bought really cost eight ninety nine? Do you think that's actually what it would have cost? Or or did that come from someone else who did not get compensated for their time? I wonder about that. <laughs> or just all the amount of stuff that we're throwing into the ocean. You know, all that stuff is, is stuff that's going to come back to bite us. And there are already people who talk about it, but it, we also don't... It's hard to have the means to do anything about it right now, I feel like. Other than just not buying things. Which actually, like, Becky is kind of like, just decided, like, I'm just not buying very much stuff especially like clothing is a is a her what she's choosing not to spend a lot of money on like all these tunnels oh come on poseidon come on give me that give me that breaking wave wow that was nice that was nice we need we need the breaking wave we need it so badly because one one uh exploding launcher would do it That's so society is always the same, but it's culture that changes it. Wait, so is it always the same? That society is always the same, but it is culture that changes it. Like our. So it, is it always the same, or does culture change it? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not following. Because either either it stays the same, or culture changes it. Are we saying like? Yeah, I guess I'm not. I'll have to. You have to explain that one a little bit, a little bit further. Oh come on, man! Come on, Poseidon! <laughs> you had one job, Poseidon. One job. I think wave pounding because we're fighting Hades here pretty soon, and you know, back. culture changes, but the idea of living in society as gregarious people is the same. We're always cavemen, but culture will change how the cavemen act. Okay, we're always base and terrible people. Here goes. Sort of. I'm not. I think. I think. I kind of. I think I might be on the edge of understanding what you're talking about, but but I'm still. I don't know that I'm quite there. The stink bugs have arrived. <laughs> Stink bugs in, in society, hmm, not society, in your home, around around your <laughs> around your house, stinking up the place. Yeah, I mean, I, people people will always make mistakes. I just think that, yeah, I think that there's. <sighs> This is so dominant right now. It's so good. It's just, it's just glorious. Resist some foes nearby attacks. Sure. <laughs> Laying on the windows and managed to get in. Yeah, we're we're uh, in. Spend it all in one place, mate. Ooh, battle rage is good. That's extremely good, actually. Um, we are, it's not stink bug, it's, uh, the box elder bugs are the ones that are flying around now. <laughs> Just a bit bug ba bug brained. <laughs> Fly into my head. <laughs> uh. Sure. 
Oh, yeah. No, I mean... I, I absolutely think that, like... That's one of those things that, like... It's, it's hard to... You know, when something is built into into society like that, like that's this is just how we live. We don't we don't do anything except raid and kill and rape and, and pillage. That's what our culture likes. Like I get I get that, but I still wonder if like in people's heart of hearts they knew that like I probably shouldn't murder a whole family in front of their children, you know, and and uh, carry away people like. It doesn't take much for me to think about how I would feel if someone did that to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But but yes, it, it's like it's very hard to change anything about it, even if you have that thought. And you probably can't express that thought because culture doesn't, you know, the culture you're in wouldn't wouldn't smile upon that. That's a lot of coin. It's tough. We're we are we're kind of stuck. Anyway. But anyway, yeah, Joe vs. the Volcano, great movie, go watch it. <laughs> Just know that there there will be a section where you'll go, huh, this isn't this isn't a great way to portray indigenous cultures. That's all. But there's a lot of wonderful moments in that movie and it's got Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan in in roles that they're both like, what were we doing? <laughs> what was what was that all about? What was that movie all about? Can't do that. I think they were both pretty big stars by the time they made that movie. I think they it just ended up being kind of a flop for its time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's about as deep as as a uh, a chat chat and streamer discussion can go right like you gotta take this you gotta take this discussion online or offline or something <laughs> there's a lot yeah exactly i think i feel like consideration for others and and for the unseen other right like now now it's like yeah i have concern for the person i see but if i don't see them i mean do they really exist are they real? I don't think so. I mean, that's questionable. Right? I think that's kind of where our, our blind spot is now. Is we, we think that because they live far away, you know, it's cool. It's all good. <laughs> Defending your life? I have not. I have not. Oh, we got... Oh, man, I thought I'd have enough for Hermes, but I do not. Sad. The fearsome Cerberus accepts the Sator sack. Tom Hanks' best performance. I love I love that you make such a such a <laughs> such a statement as that. Oh, that's so funny. It is it is a wonderful performance. Um I'm partial to Castaway as Tom Hanks, uh one of Tom Hanks' magnum opuses op opi. I don't know what, what the plural of opus is. Is, is it opuses or is it opi? <laughs> no, I've never seen Defending Your Life. You think you can throw your spear? Let me tell you, I can throw, I can throw this spear more better than you can throw your spear. That's for sure. That's for darn tootin. Go ahead, summon someone. See, see, uh, see if I care. Away is a big downer. 
Castaway is a big old downer. I also thought Big was a fantastic performance, as well as The Money Pit. Have you guys seen the movie The Money Pit? There, there's a couple scenes in that movie that, boy, I laugh so hard every time. You asked for this. Opera, Magnum Opera. <laughs> that really like. For for most people would not actually like it wouldn't help them understand it any better what I'm trying to say. Your Magnum what? <laughs> Your Magnum Opera? <laughs> what are you saying right now? I've I still haven't seen Captain Phillips. I've heard good things about it, but um that's another one like it's like movies that are hard to watch I kind of choose not to watch them anymore <laughs> just because like I don't know I just don't have that that uh, psychological real estate to, uh, to to give to movies that are too depressing you know <laughs> it is very awkward. It is one of those like <clears throat> kind of painful to painful to watch. Kind of like did you what did you think of Meet the Parents? Meet the Parents the first time I watched it kind of bothered me because of because of just like it's like one cringy moment after another, right? I just think that's it's kind of a similar idea. So I will I will say that the the power the power seems to dip a little bit if you don't get a few things with this build like you kind of need a little bit more to scale it up to a level that's a little bit more uh, needs it needs a little bit a little bit more to get it to get it really popping off. Yeah. Ooh, 70 damage from that one. Whew. That's a bummer. Yeah, two two thirty six damage per per uh, special throw is it's not bad but it's it's also not like spectacular if we'd had like charge launcher or well and and really like this is one of those that's like it's a it's a spectacular build against groups and less so against uh, bosses right Or will you? Whoopsies. We're getting to that point in the song that we usually don't get to because it's like it's so we've been we've been fighting him for so long. Sea Storm would have helped. Right, yeah, when is it not? All right, see you, Robert. Enjoy your studying. Liar, liar, you also hate me? <laughs> totally. Totally. Eighth grade. Got you. Straight a horror movie, though, uncomfortable. I don't think I saw eighth grade, no. I did not.
Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that this was like uh, particularly exciting, you know, this build. In the end, I think if yeah, I think if we gotten Sea Storm, that would have been that would have been something that we could have gone for. We kind of tried to go more the crit route, but but it didn't it didn't really pan out that well. You need to I think we needed pressure points to be a little bit higher, and against bosses, um, you know, Hunter's Mark doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't work as well, right? But against against trash mobs, this this uh, this thing rules. This this build rules. All right, I think it's just about time. I know that was only two runs, uh, but we are going to play some Spirit Fair, and we have uh, we have Bug and Crafty joining us today. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this on a personal level. I hope you guys are excited too. It's going to be a lot of fun. Spirit Fair. We're I think we're nearing the final act of Spirit Fair. 